Today, we're taking a look at Kelly Wakasa's How I Learned to Not Give a Fuck. I don't give a fuck. If you guys are new here, my name is Kev. I'm just an editor and I love kind of taking in content and making content. And I think I have a special knack for actually just kind of breaking down basic filmmaking and storytelling techniques. So this whole channel is dedicated to creators that I am inspired by and breaking down their videos and kind of translating some of the things that they do in their videos to help you as a creator make your videos better. So Kelly Wakasa is someone that I honestly, I haven't really been following outside of the last year. I just started getting into his content because I started, you know, obviously the algorithm starts sending you really good content when you're starting to look for creators. And I started following his journey. He was living in New York. I think he's originally from the West Coast or something like that. Young cat. He is 21, 22 maybe. And just has a huge audience. He just hit 1 million, I think. So congrats if you ever see this. And from what I've been watching, he's a really good storyteller and has these great ideas. His videos are really a mix of a vlog, streeter, interview type stuff, and narrative storytelling, which is cool. Na, 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 na. Let's get into it. All right, class, drop on, get your notepads out. <sighs> All right, right away, just as something for you guys to remember, Kelly uses a lot of multi angles. So every time he shoots something, I always feel like his camera guy or himself always gets other shots, whether it be a wide, a POV shot, a tight, a close up, a medium shot. There's always different shots. So when you, when you are making your videos, always think of not just maybe, you know, pouring yourself a coffee from a point of view, but maybe getting yourself walking into frame doing that or uh, getting a wide shot or maybe outside the house through the window. Always try to go for multiple shots because Kelly does that flawlessly. And this shot we talked about in the last video, the Casey Neistat video is like the whole depth of field and focus. You know, he's looking at this and then a rack focus right into the post-it. Shot down below. Okay, see him getting coffee. Close up. Bubbling. Out of focus. This whole sequence is amazing. So many shots of him just, you know, getting coffee. One, he walks into frame. A cool thing too is like he's coming from the left side to the right side from the right side to the left side even just something like that it's so tight you don't even know if it's him like look at this we're looking at his butt right now you know what i'm saying uh hits that all the actions that you do to pour coffee or make coffee or tea sorry the water bubble in that shot was amazing just kind of a follow a pour Okay, and then sound effects. Sound effects, sound effects, sound effects. So many things, right? Water bubbling, boom, that whoo, pouring. That shot was cool too. I was actually looking at it. I was like, did he put a camera inside a cup? Or did he actually have like a Bristol board, a yellow Bristol board or something where he was filming? But sipping, glass breaking. Jeez. Russian teeth sound effects and then transition that transition uh, amazing so I was always trying to figure out like hey how did he do that look at that look how look how flawless that transition is he he lined himself up on both frames and you could either do that as a shooter which is really tough or you could do that in post like by zooming in what I tried to figure out I was like okay how did he get that shot as a breakdown so right now, I feel like his camera camera guy, camera person is shooting lower, looking up through the mirror, bouncing off the mirror. So the door is open on this side, look behind him. And now the door open is on this side. So I feel like the camera guy was in front of Kelly shooting him this way and then moving sideways. That's his best friend. This is what I learned about Kellen last year. He has a lot of friends, a lot of cool people that are also content creators. You know, what I've learned is when you start to build an audience, like you don't get to a million just because you make good videos and you tell good stories. Yeah, like it's about building an audience and those are tools to actually build an audience. But also a lot of creators start having characters within 
you know, their videos or within their life, I call them characters, but the people in their life that they showcase that people also get attached to. So that's another another way to build your audience. But I only got like 500 subs, so we ain't building sh out here just yet. But if you do want to be in my circle, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. The use of wide shots is amazing too, you know what I mean? Boom. Music stops. Okay, this shot is, is a really interesting shot. There's so much uh, depth to it. He's standing on the other side of the street. Because there are cars coming by. It is a very telephoto lens, I would feel like. Um, see how this comes and then you see this? That's a perfect shot right there. Look at that. Ooh. And then boom, 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 boom. He uses this uh, as a transition. So a lot of this stuff is rotoscoping. And what you're doing is cutting along the people, which is a whole other thing. You could you could find a ton of tutorials uh, doing it and talking about it. Confidence is something that I always, always wanted. I wanted to be unapologetically myself. I wanted to be fearless. I wanted to be unstoppable. And as he uses a lot of vintage uh, footage as well in a lot of his videos, actually, that he could go back to and like old videos, which is, is something that I love about him. Like, look, he like printed this photo out or it looks like he printed it out and posted it on like one of those boards or uh, scaffolding in New York. And as of today, I genuinely feel that I don't give much of a fuck, but it wasn't always like this. Where to begin? Good music, well, good music. Well, not too long ago, just a few years ago, I actually started to think I was See, old footage that he uses. a girlfriend about my body and I never want to take my shirt off. Old photos. I lie, it got to a certain point where Even the framing of this shot is cool, is a little lower. There's something about sitting down that makes things feel intimate. He's on his skateboard, which is also a character, I feel like, uh, boosted boards in his videos. Out the topic. I know you're so Added some, he added some film grain over, you know, some of the old footage you could see, or like not film grain, uh, VCR, they call it. VCR tapes. Man, I'm old. If you don't know what a VCR tape is, look it up, and you'll understand how old I am. So, if you guys are a fan of Kelly, and and you know, uh, cause I I've only started watching him within the last year or so. Uh, or just following and I haven't been watching every single video like this looks like a lot of old footage from his past videos which when you start to build like a plethora of or like a library of content you can always pull from it especially because he is such a storyteller where he talks about certain things about maybe mistakes he's made in the past or things that he wants to do for the future so when you tell stories like that you always have to kind of tell people where you are or where you come from in terms of storytelling so he uses a lot of old footage which is awesome so if you guys are building a library of content and you need to tell stories look to some of your older stuff friends and family to understand that maybe i'm not alone in this excuse me excuse me excuse me do you care what others think of you so going from that sad sad music to something upbeat and then having it as more of a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the audience to talking to real people and doing streeter interviews the thing about streeter interviews or something about or streeter talks is like there's something about like the fun and the the uppity of it where you could just it's random there's so many different characters so it makes this part a little bit more fun i think that depends on who it is no not at all yes hell no what's like one insecurity you guys have my body i guess and we're giving a thousand dollars to anyone who can put this entirely in their mouth i feel like you could do it i feel like <laughs> okay i just gotta say so this girl right here she's one of those friends that gets you in trouble all the time that just wants to see you do the dumbest things and i appreciate that <laughs> I feel like you can do it. That's what she said. Look, everyone's like, uh, that knows, I know they don't all believe that he could do it. No one's tried it. He could really just be lying. Oh, oh God oh damn. God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> what do you guys think? I thought he almost threw up. Yeah. I feel like you didn't do the full thing. I'll cut it in half. What's your favorite? I'll do 500. Is this for real? I would have fit the damn mouth. whole microphone <laughs> in my fucking mouth if I knew. Hold up. Wait a minute. Buy the merch because now I'm 500 down. Okay, like, there's still saliva on, on the mic. Kelly, what's going on? What advice do you have for people trying to... I just know... Sorry, super off topic. I just know that mic stinks. You know what I mean? I just know, like, you know when saliva kind of dries up a little bit? And I, it's, 
is it's a rancid smell. I genuinely accepted defeat. I said, whatever. I'm done trying. I can't spend any more brain power on this. I was living life without the voice in the back of my head saying, Kelly, you don't have a girlfriend? And as soon as I let it go, I started feeling better. Even that part. Kelly, you don't have a girlfriend? Whatever. It's, uh... I'm done. Stop. He stops the music. Kelly, you don't have a girlfriend? And as soon as I let it go, I started feeling better. And it was about six months after I stopped And then sound effects, not, all these different shots of him getting special, the suit, putting it on. Special, walked into my life. <laughs> And then the payoff. <laughs> okay. So the payoff, it's such a good payoff. He talks about, you know, not giving a fuck, finding a girlfriend, and then the best music of the whole thing because it's super, it's super bouncy, it's super live, super fun, and super happy. And then just a montage of his girlfriend. Myself a girlfriend that's someone special, very special, walked into my life. Boom. Even the knock, like something as simple as that. As soon as he knocks on the doors, when the beat hits. Walk into my life. Dream of mine into my life. I went from heartbreak to being with someone so, I truly love. This whole sequence too, when he is talking about being in love, there's like a bit of a haze on the footage or it's like a little blurry. It's almost like a dream-like sequence. Which is what it looks like. Back, I like this. I was overthinking. I was in my own head and that I this a little crazy. bit of a fade or film grain. Even a slight reminder to myself to keep pushing, keep trying new things, keep that inner child, keep believing in yourself. Cool visuals right here. So it's like in this, you know, monologue that he does Names. at the end, it's a mix of you know, just just a couple shots. He is in a field, uh, you know, caressing this wheat or leaf or whatever. Um it's a shot of him. He has a lot of these back shots. Back shots? You guys know what I'm saying. It, it's a mix of this, you know, very clean so, footage, him just running in a field. But then also like this. This looks like old school vintage camera. And it's a camera that I think there's a shot earlier where he was holding a cat. Oh, here. You know, that is like from my time. So I know it's like a mini DV tape or maybe hopefully. But um, it, it produces like this cool, like old school looking footage. And it's just mixing that up. This video is honestly even a slight reminder Into to myself the video. to keep pushing, keep trying new things, keep that inner child, keep believing. And then he just has some cool, like, you know, visuals on top. So, like, look at this. Look how fast. Okay. There's just so many things. See how he has, like, these visuals that kind of come up over. Like, boom. Boom. All of that. It just kind of fits with the theme. Child. Flash keep frames. Yourself. Keep being positive. Keep doing what excites. Even something like that, stacking it, doing a three stack. So the video that Luke is recording in the shot before is, is that little boom. And then they triple layer the footage on, uh, on the timeline and resize it. Put a little bit of vintage VCR tape going on. What excites. And flash realize frames. realize that instead of looking at the world in such a harsh light, realize that this is truly just the beginning. Okay. Ooh. So that's essentially the end of the video. And the thing that I love about this video is like, I didn't know that it was an ad for his clothing, his merch drop. I think those are the best, the best advertisements is when you don't know, you're like, well, was that a commercial? This whole video was honestly, I felt like just to push the merch, but a lot of his videos, it's the exact same idea and theme to do what excites to, you know, go after the things that you want to do. There was just so much storytelling. Uh, the editing was great. You see the same kind of characters you have here, New York as a whole and the whole idea of do what excites you know what excites me when you hit that sub please